welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be hopefully pretty quick. I just wanted to chat with you guys really quickly about my Louis Vuitton sunglasses case in the MM size. I love this little piece. I've had a few people, a few people ask how I like it, but I also had, uh, the main reason why I'm doing it is because I had a ton of concerns when I purchased it. Um, and I figure if I had those concerns, probably other people out there do or did or have as well. So I figured I would just kind of chat about some of the concerns that I had and then maybe that'll answer some of your questions if you had questions and maybe even didn't ask. So here's the case here. You can see that it is one piece of canvas wrapped around. It is glazed all the way around this way and then there's a button here and it's glazed all the way. I mean, it's literally one long strip of glaze all the way around. Um, and then you have a button closure there. Let's see. See the button closure there, which is really nice. Um, and let me see if I can get a real close up of the, of the glazing. And then on the inside, it is the micro suede interior. Let's see if the micro suede interior and it is like a beige color and the stamp is in there as well. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up, but it is right in right in there. There it is. Um, it's Louis Vuitton Paris made in France, just like the handbag and stuff. And so it does fold up really really flat when it's empty which is really really nice i love that about it because even when it's in with when it's in my bag and i and i've got my sunglasses on my face um this is not taking up a ton of room which i love okay so let me chat with you uh, or let me just kind of mention the the concerns that i had and there was a couple of things one was the fact that it is a soft case you can see that there it's it's not hard i was really 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 concerned about it protecting my sunglasses um i have always been the type that used the hard shell sunglass cases um especially with my nicer sunglasses my new sunglasses i've always kept in a hard shell case um and so i was really concerned that i would feel that this one felt like it was protecting my sunglasses and so I will say this, um, surprisingly, it does feel safe. It does feel good. Now, this is a little bit thicker and a little bit more weighty than some other soft cases because you do have the layer of the canvas and then you have a layer of, it feels like something else, like a padding, and then you have the layer of the micro suede interior. So you do have, even though it is thin and pliable, you do have some weight to the thickness of it. And so I will say this, I have not used, oh no, one time I've used my hard shell case and that was only because I was traveling and I wanted to pack another pair of sunglasses. So I put the pair in my purse and then I put another pair in my luggage with the hard case. But as far as in my handbag and the sunglasses that I wear on a daily basis, this is the only case that I use now um, for my sunglasses on a daily basis. And I have had no problems with them being bent or anything like that. Um, now, obviously, if you sat on this case, it's different, but uh, but I feel good with this being in my handbag and not having to worry about the other items that are in my handbag crushing or you know something you know, hurting or damaging my sunglasses when they're in this case. So I feel with confidence that, that this is protecting um, my sunglasses that I'm wearing for that particular day. Another concern that I had is probably kind of a touchy subject but i just think everybody knows about it and it's just simply that louis vuitton's has had a lot of issues lately with their glazing um when i um picked up this piece or when i looked at this piece um i was really i would i would had no doubt whatsoever that this piece was going to be need to be reglazed um i have kept an eye a very 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 close eye on it because i've had to send multiple items back in for reglazing and now every piece is different so you may have this piece and you may have an issue but i have not had to get this item reglazed and i've had it for a long enough period has every item that I've needed to get reglazed, I, it, it's needed to get done pretty quickly um, after owning the item. And especially that this gets used every single day, um, like my handbags. Um, if, if I've had, it, had a handbag for six months, 
yeah, maybe I had it for six months, but maybe I only used it a dozen times, you know, or, or 20 times versus uh, literally ha using this every single day in every single handbag. Because even in my smaller handbags, most of them, I still use this. Actually, I think pretty much all of them, I still use this. So almost, almost every single handbag, if not every single handbag that I carry, um, I use this every single day. And it has not needed to be reglazed. So let me show you where I was most concerned. I was most concerned about, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna point to it here and then I'm gonna try to give you a close up so you can look. You can see where the two pieces split and I just want you to see, uh, I don't know if it's gonna pick it up, I'm gonna try. Mm. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up. There we go, you can see no cracking whatsoever on this piece um no cracking along the edges i'm not sure how if it's if this is staying focused and no cracking along the edge there either but i've literally had no cracking no splitting no peeling um and i was really especially like i said because of how much i use this and, um, and I don't, I, I mean, I just toss it in my bag, you know, I, and I'm not rough with it, but I'm not super gentle with it either because it doesn't have the cut. I really don't worry about it that much. And I was pretty certain that this was going to need to go in for repair and it hasn't. The one button closure is very secure. It is a single button. You can see it there. Uh, and it's not one of those things also that you're like trying to find it like, oh, where's the hole? No, it kind of like goes, I mean, you can see how easy that is. It kind of goes into place really 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 easy so it's not like i'm like trying to find the hole it just goes there so just to show you how easy that is now i'm going to show you i brought three pairs of sunglasses out to show you with and um, my first pair is my beater pair of sunglasses they're probably pretty dirty so don't look at that but these are just ray-bans this classic aviators in the 58 millimeter size and let me show you how these fit these fit no problems there and then of course um Oh, here I am talking about the button, but it really does go in good. And there you go. You can see how flat it still is. How flat it is. How flat it is. So that those are obviously no problem. I think the 58s is kind of like a standard size. The next pair of sunglasses I have, these are also Ray-Bans, but these are size 62. So they are a little bit bigger and they have a bar across the top. So they are a little bit thicker, but I'm going to show you those go in no problems. And then here we go. You can see how thick it is. See the thickness, it is a little bit thicker, but it goes in no problem. There we go. And the last pair that I have uh, to show you is a larger pair of sunglasses. They are Louis Vuitton sunglasses. They are a plastic frame, so you can see that they are a lot bigger. Um, now these do have a feature that allows them to be collapsible. Um, just FYI, these are the Charlotte sunglasses. I'll try to link all these sunglasses below just so you have. These are like my three faves. Um, but they do get thinner. Uh, I'm going to show you them to you in there with them like this first, and then I'll show them to you, um, uh, collapsed. So here they are. So if you have plastic frame, uh, frame glasses, um, these fit, well, usually actually, I'm sorry. I put them, I usually put them in this way. Yeah. I usually put them in this way like that. So I just want to show you that these do in fact fit with them not collapsed. You can see it does obviously look a lot thicker. I don't usually put them in like this because it does have that collapsible feature. I usually collapse them and then they get pretty thin. Um, and then I, all, I still put them in this way. And then you can see much thinner. So I do believe that these would fit majority of sunglasses. I'm actually probably in the market for another pair of sunglasses soon. There's a pair that I've been eyeing. I almost bought them actually yesterday. Um, and uh, I actually probably should have tested them in there to see if they worked. But if they do, I'll, I'll let you guys know in another video. But I do love this sunglass place. I'm really, really glad that I, I took the plunge and I bought it even though I was so concerned about the softness of it. And I was also really concerned about a glazing issue. But just know, I haven't had any issues with them so far. I love the size. I, I don't know about the PM size, so I cannot give you any opinions on the PM size. 
but I do love the MM. I think the MM is probably a safer bet unless you're getting the PM for like reading glasses or something like that, so, like for a specific pair. Um, but I personally think the MM is good for sunglasses because you can change out multiple sunglasses and it should fit most of the sizes of your sunglasses. Um, and then also because it doesn't have a baquetta, like I said earlier, it's a piece that it's pretty worry free. I don't really worry about this piece at all. Um, and I just love the size, the convenience, and everything about it. But you guys let me know if I missed anything down below. You guys have a fabulous day, and I will see you in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.